Hello, today I'm going to show you how to edit textures for Grand Theft Auto 5 PC. Now what you need for this is OpenIV and any image editing software such as Adobe Photoshop. Now, um, the download link to OpenIV will be in the description below. If, it, if it's your first time running OpenIV, uh, when you select Windows for Grand Theft Auto 5, um, you'll be asked to select your GTA 5 folder. Now, um, if you've got the non-Steam version, it'll, it'll be in um, C Program Files, Rockstar Games, Grand Theft Auto 5. If you're running the Steam version, it will be um, C Program Files 86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Grand Theft Auto 5. Once you've done that, um, OpenIV will uh, will load up your GTA 5 folder. Now, um, compared to previous Grand Theft Auto games, it's uh, a bit more difficult to tell what file is which. But um, the main pedestrian files and all the character files are located in X64V RPF. Select that. Models, CD images, and this is where um, all the files for the pedestrians are. Component PEDs as well as the pedestrians. Um, PED MP overlays are the GTA Online um, textures. I wouldn't recommend modifying these as um, some people have actually claimed to have been banned for modifying them. Um, if you want to take that risk, then, well, it's a risk. PED SP overlays are the um, GTA 5 single player tattoos. SP underscore FR is Franklin. SP underscore MI is Michael and SP underscore TP is Trevor. Um, stream Peds MP is where all the GTA Online files are located. Um, for example, MPF is female, MPM is male, John Marston, Nico Bellic. Um, this is where Michael, Trevor, and Franklin's files are located. Stream Peds Players RPF. Um, player 0 is Michael, Player 2 is Trevor, and Player 1 is Franklin. So for this one we're just going to edit Michael. And uh, for this, for the purposes of this tutorial we'll just be modifying Michael's face texture. Um, in case you want to know what, um, just in case you want to know what clothing item is what, um, double click the YDD file. And it will display like uh, what the clothing item is. And open OpenIV will tell you what texture it is here. So be sure to extract that text, be sure to extract that texture first. But um, for this one, we're just going to be modifying Michael's face texture, which is um, head 00RYDD. Double click that. And uh, the file that we need to modify is head diff 00AY.YTD. Now, uh, that'll be this file here. Um, just remember, though, depending on um, the haircut Michael has, it may or may not display like. For example, this one is like if my class saw like uh, a shaved hairstyle. Um, so yeah, um, just to tell you now, uh, if it doesn't display, you might need to change Michael's hairstyle. But for the purposes of this video, um, just modifying this one, click Export Selected and extract it to your desktop, preferably. And you'll see it there. Um, next up is to open up your image editing program, such as Photoshop or Paint.net. And uh, once you've finished all your mod, once you've finished all your modifications to it, um, save it on your desktop, like I have here. You know, it's just a quick one; just made him look like a Simpsons character. And um, go back to OpenIV and click Edit Mode. Then select Yes. You'll probably get um, a message telling you about some ASI Manager. If you do, uh, click ASI Manager and install both of them. And then, once you've done that, double click on the original texture, head diff 00AY, then click Replace, and then browse for your modified texture. Example here. Then click Save. And then click on the um, original model again. And there we go. Then the next thing you need to do then is just start up GTA 5 itself, and um, well yeah, if it doesn't display, then you probably need to um, change Michael's hairstyle, or like um, if you modified like a clothing item, you need to probably go to um, the appropriate store because um, well you know it's um, not it doesn't exactly tell you like uh, GTA San Andreas does you know the upper zero zero thirty one or whatever. So um, if you can't find it the first time, you probably need to uh, just go around all the clothing stores or just keep changing haircuts till um, the texture actually shows. But yeah, um, that's here, modified textures for Grand Theft Auto 5. Um, hope you found it useful. 
and um, well, probably don't need to tell you, but um, I wouldn't recommend modifying any of the GTA Online files because um, some people have claimed to have gotten banned for modifying them files. But yeah, if you want to modify them, you run the risk of getting banned for it, so I wouldn't recommend modifying any of the GTA Online files just yet. Okay, so um, thanks for watching.